Hey everybody, it's Streamline Steamroller. So, while I haven't been uploading uh, recently, I'm sorry about that. I have quite a few radio videos on the way. I just haven't edited them. Um, but just for the time being, I have this. This is a Gil Gil Fillin, I think. That's how you pronounce it. Uh, 56A, the case is up there. I got it at, at the... Um, why can't I think of the name? Brain Fart uh, Surplus Store for $15. So I'm pretty happy with it. And apparently it's been shopped a long time ago. Uh, maybe in the late 50s, maybe even into the 60s or 70s. Yeah, I don't think 70s, probably in the 60s. And it's full of these uh, plastic capacitors. Now, I don't think I have a video on them yet, but uh, you will see in a video coming up, coming up. I like to use these in my radios because one, I'm always low on capacitors, so I just use them. And two, they they're old. Well, I lied. There's a third reason. And uh, three, because the surplus store had a whole bunch of them, and I picked them up. But yeah, so these things really don't go bad nearly as much as wax capacitors do. And uh, the wax capacitors that are in here are solar seal. Now, I've heard uh, some pretty good things about these capacitors that um, Radio TV Phononaut, his mentor, his teacher back in the uh, 80s, swore by these capacitors. He said he never found one that was bad. Well, it's been a while, and some of them are bad, and some of them are good, too. Um, what was he saying? I might went blank. But, uh, yeah, I might even just leave these. I might just put a new cord on this and see if it's okay. The filter's also been replaced. So I can almost say this was a recap, except for this capacitor that connects the uh, antenna to ground. I would imagine Gilf, Gilf, whatever this company, would have used, you know, not the highest quality parts, not like a Zenith or anything. And also another cool thing that this radio has is when it was shopped, Whoever did it added an external input. So, yay! I don't have to worry about crap AM stuff. Crap that's on AM broadcast. But I still have my transmitter. But, yeah, that's cool, too. Oh, yeah, the speaker's a little torn up. I'll patch it up. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. Let me get a good look at this. Let me turn this. There you go. I can see. Let's focus. A good look at that. You know, this is probably still good. It's low voltage. But if it's bad, I'll probably replace it with this. It probably doesn't matter too much. As long as it's not shorted. And I checked these. They're not shorted. Same as the filter. But just a new power cord, probably. Because it snaps. I have one right here. But yeah, so there it is. The uh, Gilfillan 1946, I, th I believe, uh, radio. I'll get it working. I'll show you it in another video. And here I'm streamlined Steamroller, and uh, see you in my next video. Y'all have a good day.